So we did the last video and fixed a PlayStation 4 that I got off of Craigslist and it only cost about $55, which was a pretty good deal. But one thing a lot of you guys asked in the comments and on Twitter is, can I order something on eBay and, and do similar things as in save money on a system and still get a working system out of it, I guess? That's the tough part because it's such a grab bag online that you might even actually be buying from other technicians who can't fix the system, but will list it as parts, no warranty, don't know what's wrong with it, won't turn on, then you get it and it's obvious that somebody had opened it and worked on it and done all kinds of stuff. Other times though, you'll run into people who are selling things like on Craigslist that just wanna get rid of it and they don't feel like meeting people on Craigslist, you know, like in, in real life, actually meeting up with them. So it is a massive grab bag. But what I decided to do was actually order a Switch. So we have a Nintendo Switch here and we're gonna see what you get out of it and if I think it's worth buying, Although I will say the Switch is a bit different because you can just order the tablet portion at this point and it's like $150 for a replacement one and if you already have Joy-Con controllers and a dock and you just want a second Switch, that actually might be the best way to go because if you buy a broken one, it can range anywhere from $60 to $80 just for the tablet portion and again, you're rolling the dice on it. But I do have one here. I haven't opened it yet or anything. It's a uh, Priority Mail 2 day. It got here before I went to too many games and I figured I'd wait till after I got back, which I got back today. So I figure we can actually open it up and see what's going on. And uh, well, it's supposed to be broken. So maybe we can take a shot at fixing it and I guess we can get another switch out of it. But I'm always concerned about opening these things up because I'm always worried about just being completely busted. I mean, the one that I bought, the listing as you're seeing, is like, again, a grab bag of stuff. It's from a place that seems to sell quite a few of these if they're defective. So I honestly have no idea what's wrong with this thing. I'm hoping we get lucky and it's something a bit easier. Uh, but it could be like a completely broken charge port. It could be an issue with that one chip that I already fixed. Uh, there's a whole whole number of things that it could end up being. So let's actually rip into this guy. There we go. I'm also curious how they packaged it as well. That's the other thing is when you order online, of course, you have to kind of trust them to at least package it within reason. I know it's already supposed to be a broken system, but I don't want it to be more broken when I get it. My... Previous interactions with eBay online and actually ordering these things for stores were touch and go. There were times where it was pretty good and other times where it was terrible. Oh, they just used, okay, so this used like, there's nothing else in there. I didn't expect anything else. They told me it was just going to be just the tablet portion and that's fine. I just wrapped it in paper. So here's our switch. It's already sticky, so that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> It's clearly this was a kid's switch because yeah, so you can see on the back here It has like I don't know what that is. It's like, like Play-doh or like nail polish or something like they painted it some <laughs> It's sticky though on the side. So I feel like this was definitely a kid's switch and it must have stopped working I wonder if it even turns on. Let's see I'm on the power down no power, but of course that could be that the battery is dead I do have a, an official switch charge cable over here, the brick, the power brick that you have. So I guess we'll plug it in, the Nintendo one there. Unplug this guy in. See if we get anything on screen. So uh, this is a good start, nothing on screen. <laughs> yeah, we got nothing. Not at all. So a couple things that I'm initially concerned about. Now I'm concerned that it's water damaged. <laughs> also, I should take a look at the charge port. Charge port actually looks okay. Nothing really seems too pushed in uh, from just initial looks at it, nothing crazy. But I am still very concerned about water damage at this point. It appears to have been a kid's switch, which means they probably didn't take care of it very well. It's scratched on the front, which means they probably dropped it a bunch. But let's uh, let's get this guy apart. Of course, only a few screws on the back. We need our tri-tip driver and then uh, Phillips to get the back off initially and then we can take a look and see if we have anything gross inside. Also for anyone curious, yes, I, I like to put Mega Man X music in the background, mostly because I don't think there's any other kind of music you should be listening to when you're repairing something or taking it apart. Probably do anything to it to be honest. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's any, uh, no, no obvious signs of water damage. A lot of times you'll see like dried up liquid. Sometimes it can be pretty gross. Sometimes I've seen the liquid actually like gets spilled in, the fan will chop it up real bad, and 
Uh, it's obviously been used quite a bit because it has some uh, dust and dirt here from where it would pull air in and then it would shoot it out. You can actually see the little path of where the air goes. It's kind of cool, but no liquid at least here. Good news. So we just got to take this metal shield off and go a little further in, but then we'll definitely see if there's any corrosion or anything on the board. Well, it actually looks pretty good. We have our water indicator sticker here. It's actually like this uh, this white and uh, pink dotted sticker. And if you take a look at that, you can usually tell if it has any type of liquid. They put it near openings usually. So for example, this one's next to the charge port where water could get in. And if that turns a solid pink, like it's all pink, that means it did come in contact with water, but it looks completely dry. So right now this looks very stock. There was one screw missing from the top when I opened it. And that got me a little concerned that somebody had worked on this. However, I think that screw just fell out. Like, I don't, I don't think that's uh, hard to imagine because we've seen, uh, we've seen switches crack. We've seen all kinds of stuff there. So I, I just think maybe that fell out. Very possible. Some of the other issues that they labeled that could be wrong with the switches that they sell were headphone jacks, which. Yeah, you can have headphones break off in here, and that's actually a very easy part to replace. It's all modular. You just order the game card slot. That's all one piece. And then you'll actually be able to replace your headphone jack up here and the game card slot. So if there's a broken game card slot that you see or a broken headphone jack, that's actually a pretty good one to fix. And I would try to get that one, uh, you know, maybe talk them down a bit if it's not on eBay or something and you can pick it up cheap, fix it very easily, which is good. However, this one doesn't turn on. So now I have to start looking towards the battery, which is the initial, the battery is usually the first place I'll look just because it's so easy to unplug this and drop a, 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 just a replacement one that I have that I test with. So that just pops off and I have to put this guy on here. It only really fits one way, just like this. And there's a battery that I, I've pretty much kept charged. It's out of that other switch that I was working on forever that fixed. So it's just a test one that I have right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, we had Nintendo. Huh? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. It is now on. Oh, man. Who uses... Okay, you guys have to let me know in the comment. Who uses the light theme? I use, like, just the dark theme. I think this is just too bright. <laughs> uh, speakers seem to work. Oh, they're playing Just Dance 2018. There you go. Touchscreen works. I remember the last time this thing was on. What do you think firmware is on this thing? Let's see, hold on. It is firmware 6.0.0. So pretty good actually for anyone looking for a low firmware switch for uh, I, I guess research purposes, we'll go with that. My other issue here is the screen is fairly scratched. It's a plastic screen, it's gonna happen. The screens actually aren't terrible to like replace. So that's something I could do. I also need to check if this thing charges. So let's actually do that now. And then I have to make sure it works in the dock. So what I'll do is I'll actually plug this in now. We'll make sure it charges. Let's do that. And then console battery 100%. So at least detects the charger and everything. So the charge port appears to be okay. Let's go ahead and plug it into the dock real quick and uh, take a look to make sure it works there. And yeah, it seems to work fine in the dock as well. So what I'm gonna do now, I guess, is we'll pull this battery out, put this battery in, and I'll have a low firmware switch that is completely working, but unfortunately it's with that, that light theme, so I'll have to change that around too, you know, that's, can't leave that, but, uh, and then I'll put it together and I think we'll have a completely working switch that I would say again is more on the lucky side of the grab bag when it comes to these kind of things. We also have to take the battery out though, and the battery is a real pain to get out of there. Now you might be asking why is that? Well, on the back here is one massive piece of adhesive, it's uh, just this huge sticker. I mean, it is it is ridiculously strong too. It just sticks to anything. And the idea is that this will not rattle around in the switch. They want it to stay stationary, not move. So that they they really, I mean, they really sink it down there. So there's a couple things you can do. Uh, hotel cards that you end up leaving with are usually a pretty good thing to use, or an old credit card. And you can te you can technically heat this side a little bit. I wouldn't heat it a lot. I also wouldn't work to poke it with anything metal, so I don't use anything metal on this. Uh, but you can heat a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side, and then that will work to get the adhesive up. I've had success using like a card like this on one side or the other just to help pry it up. 
but it is a it is a struggle to get these things out and get them out clean. You just gotta kinda work around and eventually one of the sides will kinda pop off. So this is one of those cases where the whole battery wanted to fight me, so I ended up getting the card underneath of it and it's now starting to lift, so I'll actually be able to just pretty much pop it out of here now. Sometimes they're, they won't fight you as much, other times though they just do not wanna let go. So if you're uh, somebody who's worked on these, before you know exactly like the headache I'm going through trying to get this off of here without actually damaging the battery of the system. All right, so the battery is free. You can see it really did not want to leave on there. I don't mind, I don't care as much about this battery because it's defective, it doesn't work, but it still would have been nice if it came off a bit easier. However, get a little bit of the residue off of there. The other one that I ended up pulling still has its residue on it, which is nice. That was a very clean pull. So I'm gonna drop it in here. Uh, and then of course, when you order, if you order a battery online, it's pretty simple to put in there. I think most of them even come with their own adhesive strips just to make it uh, so it sticks around easier when you, of course, pop it in. So it doesn't move around. So we'll put this guy in just like this. There we go. So now that's in there really good. That's not going anywhere. Kind of twist this guy around here and we should have, at this point, a good working switch that is on firmware six. Yep, so there we are. We have uh, our switch there, just installed the battery. And everything looks really good otherwise though. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy actually with this pickup. But again, I, I know it's not gonna be the same for everyone. So after I finish putting the back on and everything, I'll have a very good looking switch. Minus the, the front's just kind of scratched. That's the only issue. But if it's always docked, I guess I wouldn't care too much. Um, but I could technically just wipe it off a bit and you can live with some of the scratches for about $80. Keep in mind though, if you buy a Switch online, right, like this, you still need to get Joy-Con controllers, you still need to get a dock, you still need to get a power cord. I mean, I guess it comes with a dock. But you need to get everything else around it before it becomes an actual, like a functional Switch. That's the issue we run into with the Switch currently is because it is technically so modular with everything around it. You know, a pair of Joy-Con controllers, $80, right? A dock is like 60 bucks on sale if you find it now. You start adding all of that up and then this, and technically that would have run, what, 220? I mean, it's it's kind of tough to recommend people doing this unless you want a second switch and you already own all that stuff. This is a good second switch, right? Technically, I put the back on, I already have a dock, I already have uh, pair, several pairs of Joy-Con controllers. Now I have another switch that I can take with me elsewhere or anything like that. So in that case, yeah, it's pretty good. Again, though, for the possible damages that could be inside of a switch like this from eBay. Maybe just get the one that is guaranteed with a warranty for like 150 and it's a, you know, just a, just the tablet portion if you already have everything else. But I hope this was interesting to you guys and uh, informative and hey, we fixed a switch today. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, dislike it if not, make sure you get subscribed. I got some cool stuff at Too Many Games. Neo Geo Pod Color, I'll show you right here. Gonna be taking that apart, so I'm looking forward to that one uh, for Tech Wave and have some fun. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.